All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now to get us started, Ladies the veteran gentlemen, voice of the Octagon, this Bruce is Buck. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 179 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come off over. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? Sir? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. Nice straight punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Blocks the shot to the body. Huh. 
Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Let him go. Let those hands go. Big and kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and hands then you're in a lot of trouble. Hands high. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Big kick. Nice. There you go. Nice leg kick lands. Let me see that hold down. You're okay. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Oh, single collar tie here. Use those legs. Use those legs. Punish him with the kicks. Punish him with the kicks. Hey, shoot. Can't spit nobody. Ooh, blocks the shot. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Under two minutes to go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Watch the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Circling to his right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, tags him with that funny left again. Caught the kick. And they separate. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Punch to the body is blocked. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Final seconds here. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponents not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two.
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Punch over the top. attempt but unable to land nice job by him there as he continues to keep his opponent to the outside he told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday I have to control the center of the octagon so far so good oh he's doing a great job his opponent's back is always facing the cage he's always the one in the center whether it's in the clinch whether it's in the middle of the octagon he is the one always leading the dance opponent goes right he just takes a big step right Opponent goes left, he takes a big step left. Never gives him an out as he's trying to escape. Head kick blocked. Oh, big punch land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Beautiful kick. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he switches his stance yet again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. I need you to get that down now. Get in there. Watch him in the back. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Right hand upstairs. Some fighters shy away from checking the leg kick. Check that one. Straight punch lands. Oh, collar tie. Nice stick to the body. Way to make something target. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Ten, Ten minutes, minutes in the book. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. 
When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high. And now he's got hurt bad. Nice punch lands. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Back and forth we go. And they separate. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Wow. Beautiful strike. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie now. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he used this punch to get to the target. Let's pick up pose. Let's get going now. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Trying to hammer that lead leg. Give me a double leg. Give me a double leg. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Great. This might be the biggest shot.
shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Close guard. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Nice head kick. Got the single collar tie. Trying the flying knee there. Real nice body kick lands. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good stick. Came from inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight all right let's get you some replays now certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game a full-on display of all of his skills he did everything in this championship winning performance he used his wrestling he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.